if you're saving money for a goal and won't need the cash for at least 5 years or so, the money should be invested. Unfortunately, many people are afraid to invest, or don't do it because they don't know how to get started. The good news is, investing can be easy, and you don't have to know a lot about the stock market to make wise investments. You just have to follow these 5 simple steps to get your money into the market. 1. Decide on an investment approach. When you invest your money in the stock market, there are a few different approaches you can take. You can manage the money yourself, you can turn to a full service brokerage and have an investment advisor manage your money, or you can use a robo advisor. Managed investment accounts usually carry high fees, and handing off investment decisions to an advisor isn't the right approach for many people. Instead, you likely choose between managing investments on your own or investing with a robo-advisor, which means an algorithm picks diversified investments for you based on your risk profile and investment goals. While investing with a robo-advisor sounds simplest, there are fees associated with automated financial advising, albeit lower fees than if you have a human advising you. Paying these fees probably isn't necessary because it's actually pretty simple to build a diversified portfolio yourself using exchange-traded funds. Still, if you want a totally hands-off approach without paying a fortune for investment advice, robo-advising may be the way to go. 2. Open an investment account. Once you've decided your approach, it's time to open an investment account. If you're using a robo-advisor, you have a pretty limited number of options, Wealthfront, Betterment, Elevist, and Wealthsimple are the biggest players, all two new robo-advisors seem to appear regularly. If you're going to invest funds yourself, there are a huge number of discount brokerages to choose from. You can use this guide to picking a brokerage to find the best option for your situation. When shopping for a brokerage, compare fees you'll pay for buying and selling assets, minimum deposit requirements, types of investments available, and trading platform. Select a brokerage that offers low commissions or free trades with plenty of commission-free investments, and an online platform that provides education if you're a beginner.